So when it's between those two lines, you know you actually have Hey, it's Jason. I'm here with my 1987 Mercedes-Benz 300E, the W124. It's up at the building. Um, I'm not going to be, I don't drive it that much, to be completely honest. I think I may have put 10 miles on it in the past six months, just going into town and coming back. But I did notice there was transmission fluid um, under the car. I pulled it out today. It's... um. Uh, the beginning of October just to take it for a quick drive and um, kind of button things up and make sure it's ready to sit through the winter because I won't be driving in the winter and I saw a transmission leak um, you know it's hard to say how bad it could be right because it's not really being absorbed um, that much in the concrete floors but what I want to do is show you how to check the transmission fluid on a 1987 Mercedes-Benz W124 Hit the hood latch in the front under the steering wheel, and you're gonna to wanna to basically pop the hood. When you pop the hood, you're gonna have two dipsticks. That dipstick is the oil. That is the transmission. It's gonna say ATF oil on it. Um, it looks very different in all kinds of cars, but on the Mercedes, it's like this. And then what you're going to want to do is this little black tab, you're going to want to pop up like so. So that just pops up, pop it over. And you're going to want to pull the dipstick completely out. I'm going to get a napkin to lay down here so I can lay it on there. You do want to uh, have the car running when you test this. Um, you want to have it hot. You don't want to check the transmission fluid when it's a cold engine. So I did a drive. I came back. And you want it to be on flat level surface. That that weird color right there, that's not green. I have this bad bulb that I need to replace that's putting a green hue on everything. So just FYI there. And the transmission fluid in this is red, and I noticed that on the ground. So let me lay a paper towel, and then let me go ahead and show you what I'm looking for. So then you're going to want to pull this transmission dipstick out, as I mentioned, and you're going to see two marks on it you're gonna see, and I'm gonna attempt to show this. You're gonna see two lines right here. A line here and a line here, and you're gonna want that transmission fluid to basically be in the middle of those two lines. So when it's between those two lines, you know you actually have transmission fluid in it. You don't want it to be below that first line. It's very hard to show right here. And you don't want it to be above that second line. You kind of want it right in the middle. So I am showing transmission fluid levers okay. So I think it's just because it sat so long, it's probably the sill that leaked over a couple months. Um, but I'm going to keep a very close eye on it. And who knows, maybe I'll have to go in and do some, uh, some maintenance or something on it. So that is how you would check the transmission fluid on a 1987 W124 Mercedes-Benz. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this video helpful and hopefully um, your transmission fluid levels are where they need to be. If not, I will post a video about how you can actually add additional transmission fluid if you have a leak and need to top it off until you fix it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It means a lot to me. Have a great day.